creating the biggest oobleck pool I have ever seen. This requires a 13 ton cement mixer, nine tons of oobleck, and a 25 foot long pool. Three, two, one, go for it. So you can see the pressure of the foot striking the surface causes the liquid to thicken enough to support the runner, but the substance will not stay solid for long. Once the runner stops lifting his or her feet, force stops being transferred to the oobleck. And when the particles of cornstarch are no longer squeezed together by force, water fills in the gaps between the particles and the oobleck returns to a more liquid state. It seems the only way not to get stuck or fall through the oobleck is to continue to apply force to the particles. Next up, bicycles. Are we ready for our bicycle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you and I agree, my friend. So he's got to build up enough speed. And here we go. go faster, he pedals the bike hard, which creates enough downward force to make the liquid behave like a solid. But let's see if entering from a standstill with far less pedaling and speed will change things for our fearless rider. So much for the fancy footwork. Our bicyclist doesn't pedal hard, so there's no downward force to harden the oobleck, and the bike sinks and gets stuck. 